Deep in the swamps and river valleys of Louisiana stand mysterious earthworks, massive mounds older than the Egyptian pyramids. Known as the Poverty Point Mounds, these ancient structures stretch across the land, built by hands thousands of years ago. But here's the twist. No one knows exactly why they were built, who built them, or how a supposedly primitive people managed such an advanced design. Archaeologists say they date back over 3,000 years, making them some of the oldest monumental structures in North America. Yet, unlike Egypt's pyramids or Stonehenge, these Louisiana mounds have no written records, no carvings, no kings or gods tied to them. Were they temples, astronomical calendars, or something we still can't grasp? Tonight, we're diving into the unsolved mystery of the Louisiana mounds, a puzzle that continues to stump modern science. Stay tuned, because the truth may change everything we thought we knew about ancient America. Subscribe the channel for more ancient mysteries. Discovery of the Mounds The story begins in the 1700s, when early European explorers in Louisiana stumbled upon gigantic mounds of earth arranged in strange patterns. At first, they believed these were natural hills, formed by wind and water. But as more surveys were made, the truth emerged these were man-made. The largest, at Poverty Point, rises nearly 70 feet tall, with concentric ridges stretching over 900 acres. To put that in perspective, it covers more ground than the Great Pyramid of Giza. But unlike the Egyptians, the mound builders had no metal tools, no beasts of burden, and no wheels to move earth. So how did they pile up millions of cubic feet of soil by hand? The mystery only deepens because Poverty Point isn't alone. Louisiana is home to over 700 mound sites spread across the state. Whoever these builders were, they left behind clues but never an explanation. Dating the impossible, modern science eventually dated the mounds us. Using radiocarbon methods, to everyone's shock, some Louisiana mounds are older than 3500 BC. That makes them thousands of years older than Stonehenge and older than the pyramids of Egypt. This revelation shattered the long-held belief that North America's ancient cultures were simple hunter-gatherers. Instead, it suggests that highly organized societies existed here long before written history. But how could a people without farming or permanent cities pull off such a monumental feat? Moving millions of baskets of earth, shaping vast ridges in precise geometric patterns, and coordinating labor on such a scale suggests a complex social system something archaeologists never thought existed in prehistoric Louisiana. It's as if a hidden civilization thrived here, advanced in ways we still don't understand. Some researchers whisper that we may be missing an entire chapter of human history, buried beneath Louisiana's soil. The Poverty Point Enigma At the heart of this mystery lies Poverty Point, the crown jewel of Louisiana's mound complexes. Imagine six concentric C-shaped ridges, perfectly arranged like giant rings, with a massive bird-shaped mound nearby. From above, it looks like an ancient city plan. But here's the strange part. Scientists can't agree on its purpose. Some argue it was a massive trading hub, because artifacts found there come from as far away as the Great Lakes and the Appalachians. Others believe it was a ceremonial center, where rituals tied to the cosmos were carried out. Still others think it was an ancient observatory, aligned with the stars, the sun, and lunar cycles. The bird-shaped mound, in particular, has sparked theories about connections to sky worship. Yet, without writing, without carvings, the truth remains hidden. Poverty Point is both breathtaking and baffling, a monument with no clear meaning, technology beyond their time. What makes Poverty Point even stranger is the level of engineering skill. Studies reveal that the builders used a sophisticated knowledge of soil types, layering clays and sands in ways that prevent erosion even today. That means the site wasn't just thrown together, it was carefully engineered. Then there's the scale of labor. Archaeologists estimate that it would have taken millions of work hours to move all that soil. Yet, according to history books, Louisiana's ancient people were nomadic, scattered, and small in number. How did they organize such massive construction projects without kings, armies, or centralized governments? Even stranger, advanced surveying techniques show that the mounds align with astronomical events, 
like solstices and equinoxes. Were these people ancient scientists? Did they map the heavens long before history says they should have? The deeper we look, the clearer it becomes. Louisiana's mound builders knew far more than science once believed. The trade web mystery. One of the greatest puzzles surrounding Louisiana's ancient mounds is the discovery of exotic artifacts. At Poverty Point, archaeologists have found stones from as far as the Great Lakes, copper from the Midwest, and shells from the Gulf Coast. This suggests a vast trade network, stretching hundreds of miles, linking cultures across ancient North America. But how? These people supposedly had no wheels, no ships capable of long voyages, and no written contracts. It raises the question, was there a forgotten civilization acting as the hub of this exchange, with influence far greater than we've imagined? Some even argue that Poverty Point may have been North America's first city, a bustling center of commerce where ideas, goods, and perhaps even beliefs flowed freely. But the mystery remains unsolved. How could a primitive society weave such an advanced web of trade without leaving behind any record of who they really were? Myth and legend. Since no written records exist, we must turn to Native American legends for clues. Tribes across the region speak of giant beings, sometimes called mound builders, who shaped the land before humans. Others tell of sky people who taught them how to build and align the mounds with celestial bodies. To the Choctaw, for instance, the mounds were sacred places tied to stories of creation and cosmic order. Could these legends preserve memories of a forgotten civilization, or even encounters with something beyond human? Skeptics dismiss these stories as myths, but throughout history, myth often carries a kernel of truth. Did Louisiana's ancient people have help? Were they guided by advanced knowledge lost to time? Or were they themselves far more sophisticated than we've given them credit for? The answers may lie hidden in the stories, waiting for us to look past science and into the realm of myth. The Astronomical Code Recent studies suggest that the Louisiana mounds may encode astronomical knowledge. Alignments within Poverty Point point directly to solstices, lunar standstills, and cardinal directions. This is shocking because it means the builders weren't just piling dirt, they were building with the stars in mind. It's similar to how Stonehenge or the pyramids align with celestial events. But how did these mound builders, with no telescopes or written math, achieve such accuracy? Some believe they tracked the sky for generations, passing knowledge orally. Others argue that we underestimate the observational power of ancient people. And still others whisper a more radical theory, that outside influences, perhaps even from across the ocean, brought this knowledge here. If true, then Louisiana's ancient earthworks aren't just monuments. They are calendars, cosmic blueprints, messages carved into the land itself. A civilization without writing may have been speaking to the stars instead. Science hits a wall. Despite decades of study, science still can't fully explain the Louisiana mounds. We can date them, measure them, and catalog the artifacts, but the big questions remain unanswered. Why build them? How were they organized? Why abandon them? And why is there so little trace of the people who made them? It's as if they appeared suddenly, built something incredible, and then vanished into history. Some archaeologists suggest climate change or resource depletion forced them to leave. Others believe disease or conflict wiped them out. But none of these theories explain why they left so little cultural footprint compared to other civilizations of the same age. It's one of history's strangest silences. The mounds remain, towering testaments to a people we can't fully understand, while their voices remain missing from the story. Science is left scratching its head, unable to unlock the full truth. Fringe theories. Where science struggles, alternative theories rush in. Some believe the Louisiana mounds are evidence of a lost advanced civilization in North America, one erased from history. Others suggest ancient transoceanic contact that explorers from Africa, Europe, or even the Middle East reached America long before Columbus, influencing mound construction. The most controversial theory claims extraterrestrial involvement, that beings from the stars taught ancient people how to build, align, and engineer in ways far ahead of their time. Of course, mainstream archaeologists reject these ideas, pointing to natural explanations. But the mystery endures because the evidence doesn't fully add up.
how do we explain astronomical alignments, massive trade networks, and feats of engineering from supposedly primitive cultures? Until we solve the riddle, the Louisiana mounds remain a canvas for speculation, an ancient puzzle that fuels both science and imagination, blurring the line between fact and legend. The silence of the builders. One of the most haunting aspects of Louisiana's mound builders is their silence. Unlike the Maya, the Egyptians, or the Sumerians, they left no writings, no carvings, no statues of gods or kings. Only mounds of earth rising quietly from the land. It makes you wonder, was this intentional? Were these people deliberately leaving no trace of themselves, focusing instead on monuments that would outlast words? Or did their culture collapse before it could develop written language? Their silence forces us to confront the limits of archaeology. Without texts, we can only guess. We project theories, but the true voices of the mound builders remain hidden. And maybe, just maybe, that's the greatest mystery of all, that a civilization advanced enough to reshape the land itself could vanish without leaving behind a single clear explanation of who they were. So here we are, standing in the shadow of Louisiana's ancient mounds, structures older than the pyramids, larger than Stonehenge, and still shrouded in mystery. Science can measure their age, but not their meaning. Legends tell of giants, sky people, and sacred knowledge, but no one can prove it. What we do know is this. A forgotten civilization once thrived here, advanced enough to engineer massive monuments, trade across continents, and map the stars. Yet they left behind no voice, no name, only silence. And that silence still calls to us today. Were they scientists, shamans, astronomers, or something else entirely? Until we uncover the truth, the Louisiana Mounds will remain one of history's greatest unsolved mysteries. If you're fascinated by ancient enigmas like this, hit that subscribe button, because the past isn't finished speaking, and the next mystery may change everything we think we know about human history.